everybody, welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. I am super excited to have you guys here for a brand new series where we are learning about an awesome technology called WebSockets. Now, WebSockets are what enable real-time changes in your application without needing any page refresh or anything. Your users on your web application are gonna get immediate updates in real time to anything that you um, enable through WebSockets. It's gonna be able to create really authentic, new, modern, and exciting experiences on your web pages. It really creates a wow factor when you're adding this to an application. So as soon as something happens on the server side, as soon as something changes, there's new notifications, it is immediately updated to all of the users that are currently on your application immediately without a page refresh. This real-time experience is all enabled through WebSockets, and that's gonna be the focus of the next few videos that we release here, is all gonna be around WebSockets. Sockets. Now I want to thank you guys because you guys actually voted on this topic. You guys said you wanted to learn about WebSockets with Laravel and so I've gone ahead and um, done that. And so back in December, we actually, I sent out a poll on Twitter and I said, hey, what do you guys want to learn? I'm getting ready for my trip. Um, and what do you guys want to have while I'm gone? And so I had a few options and you guys overwhelmingly told me you wanted to learn about WebSockets and Laravel Echo. And so at back at the beginning of December, I went ahead and created a whole series about WebSockets. I put the, the stuff on GitHub, um, the code was all on GitHub, it was ready to go. And then I had to leave for my trip. And since I was leaving for my trip, I had to clear out the hard drive space in my computer and I put it on a portable hard drive, all the footage. And I was going to edit it while I was, I had like 36 hours on the plane because I'm traveling to Asia. So I had to fly to all over the world basically. Um, so it was like a 30 hour flight with layovers and stuff. And so I was like, I'll have plenty of time. I'll just finish editing the videos while I'm traveling. We'll get it uploaded. South Korea has really good internet, so I was like, I'll get it uploaded, it won't be a problem. Well, at some point, my hard drive got corrupted and I wasn't able to recover all of the footage. I got some of it, and um, but not all of it. So I ended up having to re-record several parts of it, which didn't end up happening, unfortunately. And so, um, anyway, I was gone for two or three weeks. Uh, well, I was gone for three or four weeks, actually. Um, I was traveling through South Korea, we went to Singapore, uh, Cambodia, Thailand, um, uh, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Malaysia. So got to see a really good portion of Asia. It was a really, really fun trip. Um, I, I loved Asia. I, I, I loved it. I can't wait to go back. Um, it was a really fun trip. But anyway, I got back at the beginning of January and I was like, okay, now let's go ahead. Let's re-record these parts that I haven't got done. And unfortunately, as I started going through the parts that were recorded, I wasn't super happy with it, and so then I felt like I just wanted to redo the whole thing. And then I left, and I had a convention in Vegas, I had a convention in San Diego, had to come back, had another one in Vegas, so, in Las Vegas, so um, anyway, I was gone most of January, and now I just got back last week, and um, now I'm putting everything together again. So, sorry for the delay, I've had so much travel lately, but I'm going ahead and we're getting this all done now, and um, we'll have this series all good for you. And I'm actually excited because I'm happier now with these this new result than I am with the old one. So I think it'll be better for you guys in the end. I think you guys are gonna learn more um, from this kind of redone one because I, I learned a lot teaching it the first time, then I all got lost, and now I get to redo it, and I think it's gonna be even better this time around. Okay, so let's talk about what we are gonna, and I will mention I am leaving in two days, three, let's see, three days. I'm leaving in three days um, to, I gotta go back to Seattle, and then I'm going to, um, I'm heading to Italy and Switzerland. So I'll be in Europe for a couple more weeks after that. But I have a brand new microphone that I can take traveling a lot easier, and a brand new webcam I can take traveling easier. So we might see the next few videos on the road. So I might see you guys um, from Switzerland or Italy or something like that. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that. Hopefully I am more prepared for making videos while traveling now. I got the, I've got the equipment now to kind of really create good quality videos while I'm on the road. All right, so let's talk about WebSockets. We are gonna, this series is gonna focus on WebSockets. I just kinda wanna prep you guys for the series, what to expect, and a few things that we're gonna cover some details throughout the whole series, and then we'll get started in the next video actually learning something. So let's talk about what's coming up. 
Part zero is the next video. Part zero is focused purely on understanding the theory behind WebSockets. If you've already worked with WebSockets in the past, you may want to, you, you're welcome to skip that video because we're actually not gonna be doing anything new, not gonna be doing any code. I just wanna make sure you guys understand the terminology. What When I say words like channels and presence and private and broadcasting and things like that, subscribing, I want you guys to know what I'm talking about. And so we're gonna talk about the terminology around WebSockets and also how it works. You have your socket server, you've got your Laravel server, you've got all your clients, they're all subscribed to channels. I wanna kind of explain what's going on with all of that. And that's gonna help you better understand, if you understand that, it's gonna help you troubleshoot a lot easier because you're gonna understand what part of the process in your web sockets are broken okay so it's going to be important for you to understand that and so we're going to cover that we're not going to write any code but the next video part zero is strictly theory we're going to talk about what web sockets are from a high level and kind of how they work and some terminology there so if you're new to web sockets be sure to check that out if you already understand web sockets you just want to jump to the laravel stuff then you can go ahead and skip to the next video the next video after part zero will be part one Part one, we're gonna go ahead and download some code from GitHub that I've created for you, a sample application. We're gonna get it set up, and then we're gonna talk about how you configure an application for WebSockets for Laravel Echo. There's a few packages we have to pull in through NPM, a few through Composer. There's some configuration needed, of course, and then there's some stuff we gotta configure in our app.js file. We need to set that up in a certain way as well in order to enable Laravel Echo. So we'll talk about all that setup and configuration in part one. After that, we'll move on to part two. Part two, we're going to go ahead and start implementing our feature for WebSockets. Now, we're not gonna deal with WebSockets in part two. We're gonna be actually creating an API to enable some, you know, some CRUD in saving it into the database, create a few API endpoints, and then but then we're gonna use those API endpoints in part three, which part three is where we implement WebSockets. We're actually going to get everything working there. We're gonna create an event. We're gonna broadcast that event to our socket server, and then we're going to update it to the users. And that's gonna be part three where we actually implement that. So when we do this, we're gonna be working with something called public channels, all right? So starting from the next video all the way through part three, we're gonna focus on public channels, which are probably the most common Eh, maybe not actually, but anyway, they're kind of the easiest to work with because they're just public. Anyone can access your information on your channel. In the part after part three, so all the way through part three, we're going to focus on building a public channel. Part four, we're going to talk about private channels, how we can work with private channels with Laravel and Laravel Echo. And then part five, and maybe part six if it spills over, will be about presence channels. We'll talk about what these, these terms mean in the next video, but anyway, part, we'll talk about presence channels in part five and six, and presence channels will allow us to do some cool things like see who else is viewing that page at that exact time. Also, we'll be able to create the experience where you can see who's typing. So if someone starts typing a new comment, we can see you know, Alex is currently typing. And then when he stops typing, it goes away. So when you create those types of things, that's with presence channels, and we'll talk about that in part five and then maybe six if it, if it needs it. Okay, so that's kind of the outline for what we're gonna be doing in this series. Part one, through, part zero through three is going to be available immediately. Part four and five will come out in the next day or two. Um, so be sure to check back for that. And then the last thing I wanna say before we get started is to be sure to check the descriptions of every videos if you get lost. If there's a new video that's updating with a new version or something, I'm always gonna post it in the description. So be sure to check the description of every video to see if there's any changes or any new information that you need to be aware of, um, any gotchas or any new videos that you should be watching instead of that one. So be sure to check the descriptions. And then last but not least, um, in the description of every video, there will be a link to the written tutorial on devmarketer.io. I have written versions of every tutorial on devmarketer.io, so be sure to check that out as well. All right, so thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Hopefully you guys are as excited about this series as I am. We're gonna be starting in part zero in the next video where we talk about the terminology of what Laravel Echo is, what WebSockets are, and everything like that. So I'll see you guys in the next video.